Hi everyone, my name is Liz Millian and I am an illustrator and author of children's books and I'm going to show you how to draw using a shape that I like to call the potato. Now we are not going to be drawing with potatoes, that would be silly. I'm going to get you to draw on a piece of paper, A3, A4, with a drawing pencil, with a normal pencil, just on your sheet do a few potato shapes. Now I call them potato shapes because actually no one can draw a proper circle, that's impossible. And because potatoes are sometimes a bit squidgy in shape, I just call them potatoes because it's a lot easier. And I've done about five there, but you can do as many as you like. Now I was going to start drawing straight away with um, a pen, but sometimes you go a little bit wrong with a pen. So what I suggest is that you draw it all in pencil and at the end you can rub bits out and then you can also go around in pen, which is a lot easier. Now, first of all, with your pencil, we're gonna draw two little ears. Now this is a good start for a panda or a bear or even a little frog if you put eyes in there. We're gonna do two curly little lines and we're going to draw a V for a nose. Draw a line going across and then just with your pencil, colour it in. Now I have drawn a bear like this hundreds of times, which is why I'm doing it really quickly. Sometimes I go a bit fast and I have to slow down, but because I'm confident, I don't really need to rub bits out, which is why I'm using a pen. Now I'm confident because I've been an illustrator for nearly 21 years. I have gone into schools and libraries and museums and events and I draw all day, every day. But today, like you guys, I'm at home. We're gonna make our little bear nice and happy. So he's got his happy eyebrows on, he's got his little smiley face. And if he's a little bit hungry, he wants his porridge, he's got a little tongue with licky bits and I have a little dog and when she's hungry she has a licky licky mouth and he's got a little furry face and little whiskers so we've got his whole face there we're gonna just put some furry shoulders on he hasn't got any clothes on and on top of his head we're gonna draw a little sausage with that on now you're probably thinking bears are brown or grey, but actually because we're children's book illustrators today, we can pick a really bright colour. Now I don't suggest we get a green because he will look really sick. And don't get a red because he looks like he's a bit sunburnt. But what you can do is put a bit of blue on there. Now can you see, I'm not doing it really, really neatly. These are rough sketches. And also I want him to look a little bit hairy because Bears are very hairy. And I've also got a darker blue here and these crayons are nice and they're just like yours at home. So I wouldn't recommend using um, really expensive pens when you're your age, you just don't need them. You can do if you're lucky. And I've got a nice pink pen here, like that. But you can colour yours in later on. We haven't got a long time together today so I'm just going to put a very, very quick bit of colour on for you. Okay, so that's your first one. Did you find that easy, hard or okay? Okay, well you are just still warming up, so don't worry. Now, on to this next one. Oh, it's a good shape for one of my favourite characters. So we're going to draw two circly eyes. Okay, that's how you start a snowman as well. We're going to come along and put a little smile on. Now beaks are hard, okay? I go wrong with beaks all the time, uh, especially flamingos and owls and things like that. This is gonna be a little sort of penguin. I like penguins. So we've got a little V underneath. It's gonna come down here like that and round. Now my little penguin is gonna be quite happy. He's quite surprised. And I might put a little P under his chin. Uh, it's not really a little P. He's going on a hot date. He's got a nice smart bow tie on. Now to make him look more like a penguin, I'm going to get my black crayon. And I'm going to do a V. 
Um, you can colour this in black or you can do it with your pencil just now. The beauty of this video is you can pause this and you can come back to it later on and then you can add colour later on as well. It's not a live thing. I've got a bit of pink in there. And a little bit of yellow here. Like that. Okay. It's looking quite canny. The next one. Mm, this character has got a curly cut for a nose. Her mouth looks a bit like a butternut squash. She's got big teeth. Big eyes. And this character certainly does not look happy. So we got my mouth. She was sad. <laughs> she was about to be sick. <laughs> Ooh. Hiya. So your mouth changes all the time and so does your eyes. Now, if we wanted to do a girl, put some eyelashes in like that. Okay, can you see that? So girls, we always draw eyelashes on, even though some boys have got really nice long eyelashes. So there we have a girl. If you want to with your crayon, just draw some wiggly wobbly hair, like a pop noodle. And then later on, you could just put some orangey yellow in there. And this looks a bit like Goldilocks, doesn't it, when she's about to get gobbled up by the big bears. And I think she should have got gobbled up because she was very naughty. There we go. And she has clothes on. She's got a little t-shirt. Okay, was that easy? Do you think that one was the hardest so far? I do. Okay, so look, she's really scared. She's got scared lines, little brackets like that. Okay, so we've got three of our potatoes done so far. The next one I'm going to get you to do is one of my favourite animals. And oh, it's got a nose like that, little bee, and a little line across. This time I'm not going to colour it in black. I'm going to do like a peachy colour. So you're probably shouting now, it's a cat! And we're going to draw a really sad cat. And I know, I don't like drawing sad things as a rule, but sometimes your characters in books have got feelings. They can't be happy all the time, because that would be really boring. There we go. So we're going to draw some really big eyes. Na, 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 na. And now the poor little cat, look at that, how sad he looks. Gonna do some black spots with a little bit of white left in. No. And the eyebrows are going up. Oh, poor cat. Look at him, how sad he is. Someone's eating all his fish fingers for his tea. And again, if you wanted to put a funny colour on, you could do. But I've got quite a nice sort of chocolatey brown here. And it can come round. like this. And you're thinking, gosh, she draws some colours in really quickly. But this is when I'm working on my board. When I'm doing books like Crocodile in the House there, my pictures, especially the cover, they take me hours to do and days to get right. Okay, now this last little one down here, you could draw whatever you like in there. We could even just draw a potato, but that would be very boring. So we've got a bear, we've got a penguin, we've got Goldilocks, we've got a cat. Uh, should we do a dog? Yeah. Come on, let's do a dog. So, V nose like our bear, little lines, little eyebrows. So, again, very similar to that bear. Oh no. Oh dear me, look at that. So, let's get our mouths back. 
Hmm. Oi! Uh, so we're going to make him look a little bit naughty. Rah. Oh, he definitely looks like a vicious sort of dog, doesn't he? There we go. Rah. No, he doesn't look like a dog, does he? So we're going to put some big sausage ears on. And you can see me putting my hairy face on. Like that. That could also be a rabbit if he did a pink one. Pink nose. And again, I'm going to make him... Hmm, I've got my nice blue again. So because we do children's books, we can bring our characters to life. And you'll notice I'm always dropping stuff, by the way. I'm really, really clumsy. In fact, I have to make sure my coffee and tea is nowhere near my pictures when I'm doing my books because I drop everything all the time. There we go. And just because he's a bad character doesn't mean he can't have some rosy cheeks. And sometimes you go fully colour when you get cross, don't you? And your grown-ups go, get your shoes off, get your shoes on, rah! There we go. Okay, so little dogs. Got little dots. And he looks really grumpy, so you might have sizzle lines coming off there like that. And while I've got my black crayon, I'm going to just see if anything else needs to have a bit of shadow. Now, shadow helps your character look a little bit 3D. So I'm going to colour his little ears in like that. We've got our little penguin there. So that didn't take long at all. This was my first ever video, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is a potato, so I'm going to write potato on here somewhere. Potato! Put your name on. Always important to put your name on. And it's also important to put the year on as well. So when you're really old, you'll be able to look back at your pictures and think, wow, I did that. Okay. Was that easy? Yes. Share this if you like it. Um, email me, liz at lizmillion.com if you want to see me draw other things. Next time we're going to be looking at baked beans. Okay, so cheerio. Bye.